Drug abuse is now so rampant at Denver's Union Station that RTD stripped the doors from bathroom stalls in the bus concourse. Wow, good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Andrew Hugh. RTD insists this isn't a permanent solution, but it is the reality, at least for the time being. And Denver 7's Jessica Porter joins us tonight. And Jessica, there's not even a sign on the door to let people know what they're walking into. No signs and definitely no warning. Now, this was a big shock for people visiting Union Station for both men and women who just aren't used to doing their business in front of ev everyone. Now, RTD says that this situation is temporary and is part of a greater safety issue. It is kind of awkward to be using the bathroom with like nothing in front of you and a mirror right there. Riders looking for privacy aren't going to find it at these restrooms on the Union Station bus concourse. RTD removed the doors to discourage drug use and try to prevent overdoses, something riders are all too familiar with. Usually it's people exchanging drugs. I've heard a lot of people like trading um, like rolling papers for I guess really cocaine is about the only thing I've actually directly seen going on. Union Station isn't the only location impacted. A security guard tells Denver 7 the doors at Civic Center Station were removed three weeks ago and were only recently replaced with these half doors. RTD says they designed the doors themselves. They're kind of cut in the corners so that people can, uh, security guards can tell if there's multiple people in a stall, um, but it'll give people privacy as they're using the restroom. Most riders we spoke with wish RTD would flush out a solution that offers more privacy. If they're already planning on putting the shorter doors in, why didn't they just, you know, go straight from big doors to short doors instead of, you know, having a transition where there's no privacy for anyone at all? Until then, some are coming up with unique solutions. And this one woman came out and she had been using the handicap stall and she said, oh, well, this one's a little bit more private. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just go in that one. RTD hopes the new half doors will be a compromise between privacy and safety. I completely understand that concern. Um, we just want people to be patient and know we're going to update the doors soon. And so this is a temporary deterrent for activity that would that's a lot worse for people. And RTD says that those new half doors will be installed at that restroom here at Union Station sometime in January. Until then, you're going to have to hold it if you don't want to use that restroom and make it up to the first level where all the restaurants is. Those restrooms have full doors. Reporting live at Union Station, I'm Jessica Porter, Denver 7. And listen